All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mata. Topic of the day, how to find the hottest new Cardano NFTs that might be worth a lot, a lot of money one day. Cardano NFTs are just rolling out. There's only a few companies that are actually established on the Cardano blockchain and have NFT projects in the works. Let's dive in, let's get it. I got my little man, so I'm gonna have to keep this super short, super quick, but here's how it works. And of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial investor and I never advise you to invest in crypto in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Over under Cardano's developers showcase, you can scroll down here and you can see all the actual Cardano official approved projects. And you can see like NFT makers, different coins that are coming out on the Cardano network. I think that this is one of the huge, huge insights as to what companies are actually officially approved by Cardano. So if we scroll through here, you can see the Dialis wallet. You're gonna definitely need to have the Cardano wallet. For example, example if crypto mage is sold out i just bought some ada monsters ada dolls is i believe 100 sold out okay ada dolls are not ready yet that one's going to be hot i'm definitely going to be getting in on that canucks i assume get your canuck let's see if we can get one buy now perfect before we dive down the rabbit hole i want to explain how these nfts work depending on the brand or the artist they create a set amount of nfts so their first edition may have 10,000 nfts each nft has its own identity identification number, its own line of code, its own. Think about it as a social security number where you can actually verify its authenticity. You can verify where it was created, who it was created by. Their first editions, they may have only created 10,000 or 1,000 or 5,000. Each artist is different. Each brand is different. The idea is they call them NFT drops. So depending on the brand or the artist, out of their first edition 10,000 NFTs, they may only have 15 of a very rare one. And they call them drops because when you send money to their address, you're not sure what NFTs they're going to drop back in your wallet. So it's kind of like you're almost like buying lottery tickets and scratching your lottery ticket off. If you hit one, you nail one, you might pay 15 ADA for one of the next crypto pump. That's the idea. So I'm buying all these first edition Cardano NFTs, hoping that a year from now, six months, two years, five years from now, that one of the NFTs I'm buying now is so rare because it's a first edition Cardano NFT. And if any of these Cardano NFTs turn turn out to be the next Axie or the next Decentraland. Imagine having one of the original Decentraland or one of the original Axie NFTs, just giving you guys an example. Or imagine having a couple of the few crypto punks that are worth, you know, millions or hundreds of thousands or whatever crazy number they're going for. Let's go. We just come in here and go to copy. We're gonna pull up our DLS wallet. We're gonna hit send. We're gonna paste in the address. It's very important. You have to have the address exact and the amount exact. So it shows you right here, send 1212. Come over here, paste in, and hit send. Type in your password. Now the transaction has been sent, and right here you can see it, it's sent. So when it says send, keep this window open until the transaction's processed. This is super important. You gotta make sure that you wait for that to actually process. Cool. Now the thing with these Cardano NFTs is they are, certain ones are rare. So depending on what you get, a lot of them are at random, some are rare. If we just come back over here, I've literally been just snagging up NFTs on any one of these I can because these are, most of them anyways, are first editions. So you're talking about some of the first big players getting in the NFT game on the Cardano platform. I think a lot of these have potential to be really, really valuable. I don't plan to sell any of mine. Every one that I could buy, I've been buying. Some I buy the 10 pack. Now, a lot of these sites are at random. Check out your gods, 300 gods minted. It looks like all of these gods have already been released. Cardano Kids, I believe Cardano Kids, I would almost guarantee they're sold out. This one was really, really popular. Can't really figure out how to play this game. Let's see if we got any claymate. Here we go. We're in another raffle, baby. Let's go. So here I'm gonna send 15 Cardano to this wallet address for a raffle. I honestly, I have no idea what I'm actually getting myself into. I just know that Ethereum NFTs made people hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So I'm willing to risk sending 15 Cardano to this wallet address for a ticket, for a chance to win. I don't even know what I'm winning. So again, I just came over to my wallet and did the same thing. And you can see all these addresses that I'm sending these things to. I can't tell you how much ADA I've actually spent on these 
NFTs. So hopefully it plays out, but I'm just going through here and going, okay, crypto heroes. What are crypto heroes? I don't know. Can I buy some? It's also not about making a ton of money off these NFTs. Personally, I love the innovation. I love the fact that these artists are putting themselves out there and they're risking it and they're chasing their dreams and they're chasing something they're passionate about. So even if I spend a couple thousand dollars right now on some Cardano NFTs and I end up with nothing but a couple cool collectibles, I'm okay with it. I like to support these different artists. I love that they're the first big name creators creating these NFT projects on the Cardano blockchain. So at the very least as a creator, I love the fact that I'm supporting these other people that are chasing their dreams. And that's what it's all about. It's all about giving back. So even if I make nothing off these NFTs, I'm okay with it. I'm supporting creators. If I get lucky and I end up with the next crypto punks, yeah, let's get it. If not, awesome. I'm having fun. Hopefully someday I'll have my own NFTs that I'm actually creating that are actually bigger than me just making some random NFTs and minting them. You guys want to check out my NFTs? They're definitely not nearly on these levels, not even close, not even remote ballpark, but they're still cool. If you guys want to support the channel, one of 64 for Gavin Woods. Oh yeah, I want in on that. 64 ADA. So I'm literally sending 64 Cardano for this little NFT. So you literally just type, come over here and you just type in 64 Cardano, send. This is either gonna be one of the stupidest or smartest things I've ever done. I haven't even checked. So what's cool about these is a lot of these sites send them out at random. So there's 64 of this guy. I'm sure some of them are random. And now I just have to wait for that transaction to actually process. I'm definitely gonna get a Gavin Woods one. So these are crypto heroes based off of all the big names in the industry. And you can see right here, it'll tell you you can only send crypto from your DLS or your Yori wallet. Okay, so the transaction just sent here. You can see it sent. Most likely I'll get a confirmation over here in a second. And they send you back the dust plus like one or two tokens of Cardano. So I don't want to close that window out just in case. And let's see. And you can see here, they're talking about a game, the Crypto Heroes game. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one more of these. I'm going to buy the Solona one. Anatoly Yakovenko. Of course, Charles Hopkins just is sold out. No doubt on that one. And those two I'm good on. Crypto Kittens. I got Hype Skulls. Hype Skulls was expensive. I think I spent like 150 Cardano. Now the Just Chicken is pretty cool too. I've already bought quite a few of those. I bought one Crypto NFT. Bought some of these over here. Stellar Hood, I bought one of. I bought one of the Galagos. Base Buds, I think I bought some. The Hotchkins were sold out. And that's a wrap. I'm going to try to buy one more. I'm going to buy one of these little Jess Art ones. This little 16 year old girl. You know, how cool would it be? I just want to support her because she's. From the guys who bought you space coins, you're talking about Jet Chicken. And this one's pretty cool. So you get these at random. Each pack costs 1588. You will be asked to send 2088 plus a unique dust amount. You will receive 588 in return along with 10 FT cards and two NFT Jet Chickens. Each pack also includes 100 free space coins. So this one's pretty cool. We'll do this one and then that's the last one I gotta do. I gotta run and get my little man. As far as Jet Chickens goes, it doesn't really even tell me how many are left or if they're a limited edition or what's important. I don't really know how this works. And you can see right here, it tells you number of transactions. So I've pretty much minted five of my own and the rest have been me buying NFTs. I've been over here on a buying spree when it comes to Cardano NFTs. I don't think that there's one that I missed out on. This one was like a lottery. We're at this fifth phase, the 8,000 to 10,000 and it's 25 ADA. The first 1,000 to 2,000 were only five ADA. But I have a feeling if these are anything like, so this one over here is saying they're not for sale yet. You need a special type of wallet. So all closed crypto doggies sold out dang that would have been a hot one to get in on oh so you got to be on top of this to get in on these right away they sold out so freaking quick so hopefully i got in on quite a few and hopefully you guys can check this video out and get in on quite a few because these things are hot right now these ada monsters i think are going to be the hottest ones out i want to buy a, one more of these and they're rare, right? So you can save, I bought three for 125 last time. So wave one rare, ultra rare. I mean, you get one of these ultra rare ones, that's where it's at. And you don't really know what you're getting. So it's kind of like luck of the draw. Am I gonna get this many? I'm gonna kind of hold off to see if there's any other things coming out because I've already bought every one of these now. And that's a wrap YouTube. So that's how I'm finding all the hottest and newest Cardano NFTs. The website is developers.cardano.org. So if you guys could do me a favor, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the squad. If you guys want to learn more about trading crypto and trading NFTs, very new to the NFT game, but I'm going to dive right into it. Hopefully we can develop a strategy. If it's like our crypto trading strategy, we should crush it because we've been doing absolutely phenomenal. Every NFT you guys just saw me bought, I made 100% with profits I made from trading just today. In the last, and it was in like three hours, made almost $2,000. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Can't wait to see you guys in the live streams. Peace.